This is Professor Jason of Os Malandros de Mestre Toro. So today we're going to be talking about capoeira music. So um, I'm going to introduce you to three instruments that we use in capoeira and I'll give you three rhythms at least for um, for each of those or at three for the bit and bow two for atobaki two for pandero okay so um i want to talk about three instruments the three instruments that we'll discuss today are the bit and bow uh the next will be pandero and the last one will be the atobaki and i want to give a little bit of history for each of them Okay, so the first instrument that we're going to discuss is called the bit and bow. So everyone knows or has seen what the bit and bow looks like. It looks like a kind of like a bow and arrow. Okay, and in terms of that, um, I want to discuss the, the pieces of the bit and bow and how it comes into into uh, existence, particularly in Brazil. So. First of all, the bit and bow comes about uh, later in capoeira, mainly because um, the original instrument was the atobaki. Here, let me move this back. So the original instrument was here, it was atobaki. Um, and being that capoeira was against the law for many, many years, um, in terms of when the police came to arrest the capoeiristas, what would happen is it would be very difficult to run with a jump. So oftentimes when capoeiras would leave, <coughs> excuse me, or when they were um, being uh, chased by the police, they would end up having to leave their drum behind. And leaving the drum behind is a, you know, this is a big instrument and it takes a lot to reproduce. So many of them switched to this, to the bit and bow. Um, and the bit and bow, if you take it apart, you can use it as a weapon and it's easy to take off and run with. And the other thing is, if you leave it behind, it's very easy to recreate. So let's talk about the parts of the bit and bow. So this here, in essence, is the base of your bit and bow. And this is uh, this wooden piece. Oftentimes, this is made out of a type of wood known as biriba. So biriba is the usual wood that we use to make the bit and bow out of. So other types of wood that I've seen used is um, pau de arco. Pau de arco was used and we stopped using pau de arco mainly because the medicinal values that pau de arco has. You can use the bark of pau de arco and, um, and heal all sorts of diseases. But so bidim, the bidimbao wood is generally briba. And it's found in Brazil. And mainly it's good because you once you cure the wood, it's able to still bend. So this part is called the vega. This is usually, it, it was originally, this part was uh, originally, um, used from the, like I think, goat uh, intestines that were dried and goat or goat skin. But now what this is, is what this is, is the inside of a tire. So when we cut a tire open, the steel belting is what we use for our bit and bow. So this is called darame, darame. The next thing is called Tashishi. Not Tashishi. Here. Now, this is called the Bakweta. Right. 
this stone. Many people use a stone, some people use other things. This is um, called the Dobran. And last but not least, Kabasa, also known as the gourd. So let me put it together for you. And then you can hear how it sounds. I'll play two different rhythms and teach you how to play them. So it slides here, the bottom. teach you um, the notes, so to speak. So in Bidenbao playing, we have buzz, where you put the you rest, the brown lightly against the arame, like this. And it makes a sound that is like a buzz. So that's the buzz. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. buzz. gently against the arame. So next is open. Open is played when you take the the brown off of the arame, like so. So it comes off there. And now you play it. And when you play it, you take the bidden bow off of your belly here. Open. Closed. Closed is where you press firmly against the, the brown is pressed firmly against that I make. Like so. So you press it. So um, here you will play it underneath the brown and excuse me, you play it just above. Here you'll push out. So when you hit for the buzz, the buzz is going to hit here, and then open, and then close. So that gives us our first toque, which is our first rhythm in capoeira, it, which will be angola. So angola will be played like so. Buzz, buzz, open. Sabento pequeño. 
So now you play buzz, buzz, closed, open. 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 Like that. So let me play it at regular speed. Remember, if you can sing it, you can play it. Buzz, buzz, close, open. All right. Now for the last rhythm. This is called Salpento Grange. And Salpento Grange is played a little bit faster. It's the rhythm that you play capoeira at regular speed or your fast. So, It should be buzz, buzz, close, open, open. 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 So it'll be like that. Buzz, buzz, closed, open, open. So the way that it sounds. information for three of the main toques that we're going to use for capoeira. Okay, so the next instrument that we're going to deal with is called bandero. Bandero. It's basically tambourine. So um, I'll show you two rhythms that would go exactly with the birimba. The first rhythm is going to be Angola. So you're going to, the, in, the way that you're going to play, the main instruments you're going to use for playing the pandero is thumb and slap. So you wanna slap at the middle and the thumb is going to play on the rim, all right? So those are the two hand positions that we're going to utilize for this particular uh, rhythm. So, pandero angola. Thumb slap, thumb. And then we shake. Thumb slap, thumb. 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 Okay. So these are the two, two strong rhythms that we'll be using for Capoeira, Angola, and Salpento Grande. So we'll use, or excuse me, for the Pandero. So we'll use uh, Angola, and we'll also use Salpento Grande. So I'll give you, I'll give you the main version, the easier version. So and then I'll improvise with the harder version. So all you're gonna do, um, 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 slap. Okay. 
here's another one. I'll just play around with it just so you'll see. That's another way that you can improvise that rhythm. But those are the two main rhythms that we're going to utilize for five bands. Last but not least is Atobaki. So, I'll show you two rhythms. Angola and Sabento Grange. So, your hand positions are going to be here when you and slap is going to be in the middle. You're going you want your hands slightly cupped, fingers close together, and here. Alright? So the first rhythm we're going to learn is Angola. The same way we learned it on Pandero, which is thumb slap, thumb thumb, slap, thumb, you want to take the same process here. It's going to be Now my hand positions might be a little off, but that's the general idea of the rhythm. Angola. same thumb slap thumb thumb slap thumb it's going to go there so this angola rhythm is going to correspond with the rhythm for sub uh, angola on the bidding bow as well as the rhythm for sabento pequeño so now when the game switches we play another rhythm which is sabento grande so that's the same thing Dum, 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 slap. basic rhythms that you're going to utilize with Capoeira, Angola, Sabento Grange. As I said before, um, we the main rhythms that we learned today were Angola, Sabento Pequeño for the beating bow, and then Sabento Grange for all three. So if you don't have Atobaki, you, ha you have like one of those five gallon water jugs that's empty, you turn it upside down and you have a drum. Also, if you don't have that, you can play it on a table. If you don't have that, you can play it on your knees. Play it on your chest. So many ways that you can improvise, and I remember my teacher um, taught me, um, my drum teacher uh, from the Cuban system, uh, Felipe Garcia Gomu. He 
said that when he didn't have a drum, he played on his bedpost, he played on his thighs. So in terms of that, you can improvise. You can do all sorts of different things just as long as you can get that rhythm out. So hopefully this has been fruitful and enriching for you. I hope to see you once we get out of this quarantine and enjoy.